From April the 29th, content creators are going to open Sorcery like mad little rabbits. But what does Sorcery have in store for us? You may be surprised to find out that there's already 5 cents announced for Sorcery. Watch this video to get all the details. Let me save you a couple of hours on scrolling on social media. We have a lot of information about the 5 sets the Sorcery have announced so far. But they are all hidden in the Discord, on Twitter and all the social media. So watch this video as we give you details on each of the 5 sets and we're going to start with Alpha. The Alpha set consists of 403 cards and there is a print run of 29,000 booster boxes. You can see most of the cards in the set on the Curiosa IO webpage, but 35 cards have not yet been spoiled and these cards are going to be little nuggets of gold that you're going to find and enjoy for yourself when you open your packs. 307 cards are spoiled on Curiosa from the Spellbook, so that will be your minions, your magics, your auras and your artifacts. There are 61 cards from the Atlas, which is, consists of sites that is spoiled right now. We will link it right down in the description. Each of the cards in Alpha Edition will have a foil version of the card. On the front you will have a full art foil version with the text mark and on the back you will have a true full art card which can show the entirety of the art for that card. The timeline release for Alpha will be around May to June. Right now the Alpha product is being shipped to distribution centers and from there they will go to the backers. So we don't know exactly when the product is released but it's going to be soon and as we said in the hook on April 29th, you're going to see a lot of YouTube channels, content creators open alpha booster packs and spoil a lot of the cards. And also yours truly, we will be opening maybe two, maybe three packs, depending on how many packs we have gotten from Aries Curiosa. We are really excited to open some packs for all of you. Let us know your favorite chase card from Alpha down in the comment section. Beta will be the first set after Alpha. It is the set that is going to go out into the hands of the players who couldn't or didn't have the means to back the Kickstarter. Beta will have some revisions on certain cards and there will be a single card removed from the Alpha card pool. And in addition to this, there will also be new avatars as we have spoken of previously. You can check that video up right here, but finish this one first. So these new avatars will be hooded and will have new art, but they will also be functionally different and new cards compared to the one in the Alpha Precon decks. Aries Curiosa got a team up with Team Covenant and it was mainly to gauge the demand on the beta print run. Today we heard that the Nordic countries are also going to get their own distribution. So if you're interested in sorcery in the Nordic countries, go talk to your local LGS because they will be able to get sorcery to you. The beta booster boxes are going to come with a box topper pack. In this pack you will get a sorcerer, a rubble token and several other mini tokens to play the game with. If you order via Team Covenant you get a special promo and if you order via Rudy you will also get a special promo from him and we already know from his videos it's going to be a Frank Frazetta and there's going to be some nudity involved. My best guess is that it's going to be the Egyptian Queen from Frank Frazetta. It is projected that the beta version is going to arrive sometime around September 2023. And now we're going to move on to the three sets that you might not know about at all. So if you're getting any value out of this video, please click the like button, consider subscribing, and we are really thankful that you're watching this video right now. One little interesting mini set that is going to be released in Sorcery is a mini set about dragons. This story and this art for these dragons are going to be put into Sorcery and we're going to have a mini set consisting of 10 dragons from Edward Beard Jr. Edward began developing a story about this dragon lord and multiple dragons around 2011. There's very little known about this set other what Eric had already said on Twitter and an interview between Mike from Collector Art House and Ed himself. If you want to know about Ed, you can follow him on Patreon and you can also see him paint live. The release date is not official as of yet, but if you know something we don't, let us know down in the comment section. This next set is the set that I'm speculating is going to be my personal favorite set. It revolves around the Arthurian legends. 
This set will feature the art, the mythology, the histories and the legends around King Arthur and his knights. I'm expecting to see some wildly interesting characters, maybe Morgane or Morgus as she's also known as, maybe some of his knights. And we have this beautiful piece of art to show you, Sir Tristan by Elvira Shakurova. This beautiful and very ornate detail piece shows one of the knights. If you look closer at this beautiful piece, you can see that he is standing with his foot upon a slain dragon. Maybe this will refer back to the mini set by Ed Beard Jr. If we have a look at this Instagram post, she tells us that this is just one of the knights. We could imagine that she has also painted maybe Galahad, Sir Gawain, who knows, but we have a lot of exciting things in store. I imagine we will also see artifacts or relics, maybe Excalibur, the Sword of King Arthur, or the Holy Grail. There are a lot of great stuff to pull from. We don't know anything about the print run, and we don't know anything about the release quite yet. It was projected to come at the beginning of 2024. But the way that the beta set is looking right now, I expect that 2024 Q1 is the earliest that we will see this exciting new set, Arthurian Legends. The last set of sorcery is Revised. We know very little about Revised, but what we do know is that Eric has confirmed that there's going to be a Revised set and the Revised set is going to be a revision of the beta set. We don't know much as of yet, but there are going to be some cards added to the original beta set. There are going to be revisions and there's also going to be some card pulled from the set. But that is the extent of what we know as of yet. We can't speculate about any kind of release set because this set is simply too far out in the future. So, people out there, that was the five sets. Alpha, Beta, Mini Dragons, Ethereal Legends and Revised. And we know from several interviews that Eric has spoken often about different other themes that he would like to explore. For example, Steampunk. Ooh, that would be interesting. And we also know from our interview with Mike Collect Art House that people in the chat we're looking really much forward and hoping for some Greco-Roman art and sets or some Viking theme sets and that would be awesome. Please do let us know down below what would your favorite set be or are you in fact more in the favor of a very eclectic set like the Alpha set that doesn't have an overarching theme. If you want to know more about sorcery and what we've spoken about, have a look right up here. Thank you so much for watching. See you next time.